Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, Software Engineer K, and today we've got something big, something really, really cool, and that is my top play to earn project, which is Monster Infinite. Now, a lot of you guys may not know what it is, or you may have heard of it, but it is a project which, moving forwards, I am investing heavily into. Um, I have other projects which I'm invested into, which I, um, you know, obviously I'll continue to hold what I have invested, but in terms of new investments, I am purely focused predominantly on Monster Infinite for um, some very very core cool reasons and you know you guys have seen my channel for quite a while if you have been around with me for a while um, I've only really covered a project which I truly believe in and invest in myself so if you do have a look back at my history you know outside of um, the kind of Ecomian and Axie stuff um, I used to cover um, ADA, Cardano which has done very well, covered XRP which has done very well, uh, NEO which is doing very well um, yeah you know the, the, these kind of projects which I believe will do well in the long run and Monster Infinite has targeted a core demographic um, it's identified a problem and I'm going to show you guys exactly why I believe this is a project which you know can be a 100x project and yes I tend to give very conservative estimates you know um, a lot of my estimates tend to be quite low balling like you know um, I'm not, I'm not going to say any other projects but if you've been with me for a while you know I would very very you know not very lightly give 100x estimate to a project but I'm going to show you guys exactly how that's possible so firstly Monster Infinite if you go straight to the website we can see that you know it's a cool cute looking game um, and yeah they kind of explain exactly how it works so essentially you have um, this very act similar to Axie style game where you have three monsters you battle um, you can uh, battle against other players PvP if you win, you get tokens, or you can play against the adventure mode, and you get tokens from that as well. Um, now, just in terms of the roadmap, if we go straight to that. So, initially they had the idea, the talent sourcing early this year, so this is a good sign for me, because it shows me that, you know, they're quite relevant, quite recent in the market, which is good. Um, they've done all of their smart contract prep, the white, uh, white paper, um, they've done their recent whitelisting as well. Now, the whitelisting was... It was a war zone like so many people tried to get in um, I believe they had to shut it down within 24 hours because over a hundred thousand people had signed up for 400 spaces which is a lot now between myself and about 12 other people and these 12 other people are very experienced with you know the whole kind of trying to uh, grab things as fast as possible you know they all come from kind of like the uh, VV ecosystem as well where you know if you're used to the drop system then you would know just kind of all of the things you can do to try and get in early but out of the 12 none of them got in except for myself I managed to get in which I don't know how but you know I got in something like number 149 out of the 400 so that is uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that but the others they still got moved over to whitelist uh, to be whitelisted for pre-sale number two so I got into pre-sale number one which is you know only incrementally better than pre-sale two but all of them are going to be in pre-sale two so there'll be more tokens for that and I will touch on that in a second um, now in terms of the alpha testing that is going to be this year in November and the game launches fully to the public a couple of months after that um, in Q1 2022 I suspect probably around about February time is when it will be publicly available for people to start playing earning etc now if we have a look at the documentation so they kind of sp state the problem that they've aimed to solve that Axie Infinity has now Axie Infinity is a very very big project I've known people you know to go from very very minimal investments of like two to three k to becoming you know multi-millionaires just through the breeding aspect um yes they did get in about six seven months ago but in that time they've managed to grow their investment a lot through uh, the game mechanics and i believe monster infinite offers a very good opportunity to do something similar so firstly the problem that i actually had is the barrier for entry was way too high you needed about you know nowadays like probably a bit less but when i got in i needed about seven and a half to eight thousand dollars just to get started with uh, breeding and PvP. So most people, especially the ones that are within the demographic of Axie, they cannot afford that. However, Monster Infinite, they have solved to provide a much lower barrier to entry, which makes it more appealing to the core demographic, which is you know predominantly in the Philippines. Um, and then they've also solved, to, well, aimed to solve the issue of overpopulation of NFTs because we know that if we are investing in a platform, if we get in early, yes, those NFTs will hold value. But if 
there are continuously more NFTs being released, which can't keep up with, um, you know, maybe the number of users, maybe the number of users is below the amount of NFTs that are being released, you will start to get dilution. So they've aimed to kind of address that and ensure that people's investments are protected. And then obviously they've looked at a player hierarchy and the reason why this is, is any of you guys who have played games, you might be familiar with MMR. Um, so obviously the better you become, the higher your MMR, you're going to be matched up with players of similar difficulty. If you can beat them, your rewards will be increased, similar to what Axie has, but you know, I think that this is going to be a bit more of a tailored system. So if I'm playing really, really well, I'm beating other people who play really well, then, you know, my rewards are just going to be a lot higher. And what do you get as a reward? Well, you get tokens. So if we have a look at the tokens that is here. Now, this is where I believe Monster Infinite can have a huge, huge return on investment. Now, if we have a look at some of these less popular projects, so, you know, um, let's see, uh, DeFi Social Gaming, Sync Network, Fear. Let's say it gets to the market cap of Fear, which is about barely 9 million. Like, that, I mean, 9 million. Like, I've seen meme coins with way higher market caps than 9 million. That's a 10x on your investment. Like, you put in, you know, $2,000, you get $20,000 if it hits the market cap of, you know, what meme coin would be at. Um, but let's, let's be a bit more realistic because I'm going to show you guys exactly how um, they're going to ideally just smash this market cap so let's look at something that's similar to yield game game so this is um so very similar to the market cap of uh, ecomi for anyone who is invested in ecomi your initial investment will get a time 616 percent return now that you know a 1k investment you get 600k um that's if it hits this market cap and you know if it ever hits axie infinity's market cap which is 4.1 billion you're looking at five 1260% return your 1k investment becomes over a five million dollar investment so the fact that literally no one really outside of the private investors currently has tokens um we are super super early they've got pretty much all of the tokens still available to obtain and that is the large majority of tokens now people are going to look at this and say oh but what if they dump or you know what, what about the founder tokens you know other projects kind of claim these returns well this is where the token allocations come in and this was very interesting this is what kind of got me hooked so they reserve you know about a quarter of the tokens for the game obviously that's needed now a quarter of it is for staking so you will be able to stake your tokens so obviously these aren't going to be you know just dumped on the market these are going to be for liquidity and you'll be able to contribute and gain tokens through staking and this token uh, staking um is going to be kind of um towards uh, middle of next year q2 2022 now the team also gets tokens but all of their tokens are locked up until the end of next year you have over a year before they you know start touching any of their tokens and those will be touched incrementally so that just goes to show you know if you get it now you don't really need to worry about anyone dumping on you uh, marketing there's a small amount for marketing nine percent um, private sales so this um, was fully sold out um, so yeah six percent for that which is not that much um, you know i've seen projects which issue a lot more than this for private sale um, and then we have other small amounts of tokens which are locked for um, you know the binance launchpad advisors ecosystem and now for us we have the pre-sale so 2.8 percent will be going for pre-sale um, and then we have one uh, 0.2 percent for pre-sale around one which is a very small handful of people so three percent for the pre-sale so they aren't kind of giving away too many tokens but relative to all of this where all of these larger chunks are completely locked up um, you will have a very sizable amount of the circulating supply if you get into the pre-sale one or two um, because yeah I mean pretty much the only other area that tokens are available for are from the uh, private holders and their tokens are actually going to be locked as well so you can see here some unlocked some locked I believe they're going to have the tokens unlocked on a rolling basis so really you don't really I mean there's nowhere on here where you can actually get a dump from so you don't really need to worry too much about that which is something else I look out for in the market in uh, any project I'm investing in. Now, they do talk a bit about synthesis and cloning. So in total, there are three different types. There's a strength type, um, AGI type. I'm not sure what AGI stands for. And there's an intellect type. So it seems like strength types are your main damage dealers. Um, this looks like kind of the tank types. And then intellect is kind of like a glass cannon where it deals quite a lot of damage but it's quite easily knocked out similar to like bird types in axie infinity and then there are 
you know, the exact same types, strength in AGI, but from various different regions. So I believe they'll have kind of like various different skills, um, you know, different attributes, etc. So there seem to be three different regions here. Now, I've shown you guys, these are kind of like the initial monsters that they have, but there is something else. There is something known as the Inception monsters. Now, these are legendary types, so they're only going to be 4,088 of these. They have given a few of these out in competitions already. Um, they're going to be selling 2,088 of these on an auction. So literally, these are limited only to 4,088. They're never going to have any more of these. And you have some perks when you have these. So firstly, you get access to the alpha testing, which is really good. Um, and secondly, you also have a chance of getting a legendary part. And I'm not sure what the legendary part does. But, you know, the fact that you're only ever going to be able to get these before the alpha testing has even started. Um, these are definitely going to hold some pretty good value. So in terms of the sale, there are going to be 2,088. Now, the monster barter, I believe, is tomorrow on the 1st of September. So users who get in, um, they will be able to have a chance at purchasing a monster. Now, the way it works is it's kind of a scaling system. So if I kind of uh, go here, I should be able to show you guys. So the first person who purchases one, they will pay the least. And then towards the end, the 2088 one, that's going to cost you one whole BNB. The first one is going to cost you 0.2 BNB and you can kind of see the scales in between. So that way, um, you know, there is a kind of incentive for people to aim to get in early. Now, obviously, with 2008 here, I imagine these will be gone in literally a second. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty linear curve of the price of BNB to which monsters are being uh, sold, which is pretty nice. Um, and they explain kind of like how to buy, get whitelisted here as well. So that is all pretty good. Now, another core part of why I only invest in certain projects is I look at the team. Now, I had a look at the team and they have kind of been very honest. They've said that it's not a celebrity team, but it is a team based in Singapore, which again means very, very kind of favorable crypto regulations. So that is nice. And at the same time, I did have a look at all of their backgrounds. And to be honest, although it's not a celebrity team, it is a very impressive team. I mean, you can learn quite a lot on LinkedIn from people. And, you know, here's the CTO. I've seen he has been involved in other projects, but specifically I had a look at some of the uh, kind of uh, things he's posted. He's posted a lot of articles, so he has shared, um, let's see. Yeah, so you can see that he's uh, written some articles on uh, LinkedIn. He's got his own kind of site, but specifically he kind of spoke about here kind of creating future proof apps with modular front end architecture. He kind of explained, you know, the problem with monoliths. Um, so, you know, the fact that he does have like a solid interest within this uh, kind of uh, sector that to me is a positive sign and it's the exact same thing for all of them they're all kind of very very active very enthusiastic in their own kind of areas of expertise so again i'm not worried about their inability to kind of lead this project to success i believe just because they haven't you know got a track record of loads of projects that they've done you know behind them right now um it doesn't mean that they can't do it with this project based off of what they do because I not only invest in a project, I tend to invest in the people behind that project. And these people, you know, they've shown that for me, they hit all my checkboxes. Um, and the fact that they don't have a track record just means that, uh, sorry, a track record just means that there is far more room for growth because typically if you have an A list, you know, A star celebrity team behind a project, that project's already going to be overvalued before it even hits the market. But this is kind of like the phases where I try and get into um, to make, you know, the, the, the best return possible. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I've seen so far. And on that point, if I go straight to their Telegram. Now, another core point I look at is firstly, how active and how responsive, how helpful is their team on Telegram? And you guys can see that literally these guys don't sleep. Um, they respond to every single person. Like you can see that they're just super active. They're always posting, um, you know, they're pointing out scams that are going on like they are super, super responsive. If I My average response time when I've posted something has been like 15 seconds. And that's even when there's like loads of spam. You can just see that these guys are super, super responsive. And for me, that is very, very positive. Now, on that point, they do actually have a lot of Telegram members already, 76,000. 
Um, if we have a look at Axie Infinity as a comparison, that has 43,000. So they're coming up to double Axie Infinity's um, member count. It's just constantly growing because this is just how popular this project is since it is trying to solve an actual problem. And now on that point, you can see here that, you know, they have a Tagalog uh, telegram as well. Um, they've got multiple other language telegrams. So the English one is 76,000. They have other groups as well. So they're catering to all different backgrounds and geographies. Now, if we just go back and if we have a look here at um, the actual smart contracts themselves. So I had a look at the uh, GitHub. They have actually posted the smart contracts on there. So um, I thought, yeah, hey, you know what? Let's just have a look, see what I can find. And if we just have a quick move back, let's just have a look at commits. So um, we can see here that, um, do, do, do. okay, yeah. So they've got kind of like the current price, the price increment. Um, I believe they've changed this, but you can see here that Inception Monsters, they've set to 2,088 and they're only giving away 2,000 of these. Um, the initial price is gonna be 0.2 BNB and yeah, they've kind of set a gas price as well. So all of this is perfectly fine, like, you know, I've seen that there's not there's nothing really kind of dodgy in here. So again, this does make me more confident that this project is solid. Now, on that point, what I did also just want to have a look at is they have released some um, gameplay of PVE, which is a uh, player versus environment. So if I just show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so it's a very similar game to Axis. You have to have a team of three monsters. Um, it's a card based game, but you also have the additional kind of uh, Candy Crush looking thing, which is a puzzle that you need to solve. And um, you get kind of uh, stacked up bonuses based on, you know, how many, um, just how many consecutive bonuses you get on that little uh, pre round puzzle. So, yes, the game is quite similar. You are um, facing these kind of uh, NPC sort of characters, but you also have PvP as well, where you're, where you're playing against other players. So you will get tokens as rewards. I'm not sure how many tokens, but the fact that they are targeting Axie Infinity's market, um, I believe it's going to be a competitive amount. It's very similar. Um, and you know, the top Axie players, they're earning like pretty easily like $400 a day, which is pretty good. Um, and you know, on average, you know, if you don't even play very much, you can very easily earn about $50 a day. So you know, that is pretty much a full day's wage for many people in the Philippines. So yeah, that's, I mean, that's pretty good. Now, what I did also just want to touch on was if I have a look here. Now, their marketing strategy, this is what's really blown me away. If you have a look at who they're targeting, they are targeting the Philippines. There are loads of Filipino influencers covering this. And the reason for that is 40% of Axie Infinity's market comes from the Philippines. So if you have a look here on this article, so this article was covering Axie Infinity, 40% um, come from the Philippines. Now, if 40% is coming from the Philippines, that's you know nearly half. Axie Infinity currently has a market cap of 4.1 billion. So you know they're targeting a market worth 2 billion and if they can take even 10% of that you know that's 200 million that they've taken then you know the fact that they're starting off with a very tiny market cap of around about 4 million you're looking at a 50x on your investment straight off the bat and you know that is not a small amount that is a you know 50x just by taking a small 10% chunk of Axie Infinity's market just from the Philippines not even the global market just from the Philippines and they have addressed the problem that Filipino players have had, which is the market uh, barrier entry is just way too high. You need about $7,000 just to get into Axie if you want to breed and do PvP. So, yeah, this is why I'm so bullish. Like, um, I mean, if we have a look at what Axie's token price was, it was $0.15 cents initially, popped off to about $0.75. Cents, and that's only because um, people were able to uh, sponsor 
you know, these players in the Philippines by paying for their axes and in return they get kind of a percentage of all of their gains from uh, farming the game. In this case, they can just go direct to the market. There isn't going to be a huge barrier for entry. But at the same time, it's going to be huge, you know, lucrative opportunities for breeding, for crafting, doing all of this stuff, from you know, earning from within the game. So all of that has just made me far, far more bullish on the project. So you guys can kind of see here that, you know, they've explained this article, you know, the top Axie players get $435, yeah, for, uh, just over $400. Um, and they get the SLP token. Now, in terms of Monster, I believe if we go to, um, let's see, Battling... Uh, cloning yes so you get these uh, tokens called star mentalis tokens and you get these from playing the game winning in pvp uh, winning in pve etc you need to use some of your money tokens um, which is the tokens you're going to be purchasing if you uh, go in a whitelist or you know on a public sale and you'll basically be using these to clone your monsters and again breeding axes is a very very lucrative business you know people have made millions um i know someone who um started i think eight months ago in axie with a 2k investment all they did was breed and their investment today is worth about 3.2 million dollars so they made quite a big return on that and that's just because they got into the breeding very early um that's why i don't want to sleep on kind of the uh gameplay mechanic aspect the whole breeding uh, cloning aspect so yeah straight off the bat your money tokens will have some very good utility but not only that you'll also be able to stake them so you'll be kind of able to use them within the game you'll be able to use them in liquidity pools you'll be able to trade them on multiple exchanges and like i said they're targeting a core market of axie whilst solving a lot of the fundamental problems that axie has and that is the philippines um, they are also targeting the us quite heavily as well um, and the fact that their telegram already has you know nearly double the members of axie before the products even launched um, that to me is a very very bullish sign so we can see here you know that if i just scroll down like yeah they're still um kind of posting about all everything that's going on they've got this kind of document which uh highlights you know uh exactly what uh, is kind of coming forward in the future um yeah and then they've got quite a lot of uh information with regards to the uh inception monster how to buy all of that stuff so they're very very engaged with the community they keep you informed they kind of point out all the scams going on there um, I personally don't have any issues on that front. So if I just go straight back into here. Now, overall, my final thoughts on Monster is it's got a very, very solid looking team. Very engaged with their community. You know, they're very, very active. Um, my average response time is like 15 seconds when I post a question. And that's even with all the hype going on. So that's very good. Um, they've come out with a very very modest valuation of you know starting off with a market of 4 million like meme coins launch with you know 10 times more that much uh 10 times greater than that amount so that's also very good um the fact that they their marketing strategy is just you know five stars they are targeting an existing market and they've addressed the problems in that market and they've kind of just gone all in and you can see already from the interest that people are going to be getting into it that um, that provides more pressure, more demand for the token. That's better for the token holders, and there's going to be utility from day one. It's going to be staking, all of that good stuff. So again, there is an incentive, but at the same time, you don't need to worry about getting dumped on. All of the tokens are locked up until the end of next year, pretty much. I mean, there are small amounts available here and there for like you know the private sale investors, and you know, but it's not a significant amount, so you don't really need to worry about you know someone like the founders dumping on you or any of that stuff. Um, so that's good and again play to earn games they are pretty big they're looking to provide just an alternative source of income for a core demographic which i believe they've already shown they can capture so the fact that if they do capture 10 percent of just the filipino market you're looking at 50x return on your investment i believe you know when we look at 100x yes like they only need to capture about you know 10 percent of the overall axie infinity market and I think they can do that, just judging based off of how much um, interest they've already gathered. I mean, they've already got like way more social media interest on Monster than Axie has. And Axie's been around for a while. So, yeah, I mean, there is the one drawback where because the game isn't out yet, we can't kind of point out the flaws in it. But I will continue to stay very, very informed. I have been talking to a lot of the admins, the team members, 
just because I want to do as much due diligence as possible. I only ever invest into things I've properly researched. And Monster, for me, is kind of like that one gem that's come along where I know I'm not super late into it because <laughs> the coin has not even launched yet. But I know that they've got a actual reason to exist. Um, and that's what I look for is there is a use case, there's a market for it and they can leverage on that market. So, you know, the other projects I've covered, they've kind of done something similar, but usually I tend to get in kind of not super early, but relatively early, but you know, the gains are quite limited. With this, you know, with such a modest market cap on opening, very, very excited to see where this can go. So yeah, I'm gonna be moving forward, just investing as much as I can into Monster whilst uh, following this project as much as possible. And I'm gonna try and keep you guys um, updated as well. Tomorrow is the Monster Barter, so I'm gonna be posting an update to see if I can get one of the uh, Legendary Inception Monsters, so I'm pretty excited for that. And that should give me access to Alpha testing. So that's pretty much everything I want to go through with you guys today. Um, please do like and subscribe to sort of content. I will keep you guys updated with anything else I find out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.